Since Melissa, if you are getting a lot of smoke or odor in the air when you are laser cutting things like wood and acrylic specifically, it might not actually be your air filter. It might actually be your laser itself. So I want you to get behind the laser. We're gonna look at the fan and I'm gonna show you exactly how to clean it because I can almost guarantee you if you've never cleaned your fan, that is the culprit. It's easy to do, let me show you. So you're gonna start by looking at the back of your machine. Now the fan itself, you, can, you can't see the actual fan, you're, you're looking basically at the cover. You can see mine is covered in dust. So when you take that cover off and you need a very, very small hex uh, screwdriver, if it came with the P2, I couldn't find it. I had to get um, just a set of hex um, screwdrivers and it, just a very, the second smallest one is what was I was able to use to get the screws off. So when you pull that all out there, you can see mine is literally covered and I don't cut a whole lot, but if you cut wood at all, it creates a lot of dust on there and that is going to prevent um, getting all the smoke pulled out of your machine. Now the reason, the thing that really prompted me to do this was I am in an office building and I have, you know, neighbors and they complained at one point that I there was some stuff going through the vents and I have a good filter. Clearly wasn't good enough, but it wasn't just the filter, it was the fan. And so once I took this all apart, I used a dust buster at first, just handheld and just pulled off as much of that dust as I could. There's like a rubber piece, there's multiple pieces of the fan, just be really careful. And I just sucked that all out. Then I used these foam um, handheld like little sponges and just got into all the little crevices of the fan and cleaned it off. I could not believe how much was on there. The dust is disgusting. So you can see it's all just left there. So once you're done that, then you can put the fan back together. Now you do need to reconnect um, the wire there's just one little piece that goes hooks together. And if you don't get it hooked, if, if you are having trouble getting it connected, just flip it around, okay? There's only one way that it's going to go. Don't force it. Um, and then there's a small little like um, guide area on the back of the fan where the wire kind of goes through to guide it. So make sure that you pull it through there and then you need to reconnect. Um, once you put the fan in there, then the cover goes on top of that and then the four screws go through there. Now, I at first was not able to get all four screws on there. I only had three and then I got an error in uh, Xtool Creative Space. So I took it all apart again and made sure, and what you really wanna make sure is that the screws, they're very long, they have to go through the hole on the cover, and then as you can see, there's these holes in the, in the fan itself, and then it goes into the, um, basically into the base of the P2. So you wanna make sure that everything is very flush. Um, once you get one on there, just make sure, take your time, it is a little bit tricky um, to get it all connected. So, but once I was able to do that, then I didn't get an error anymore. And what I noticed was um, when I ran the P2, scoring and cutting wood specifically, um, I really had almost no smoke at all. In combination, I also got the new um, Xtool AP2 air filter, which is the one that has the super cyclone. And I think that that is also really, really helping. And so if you are laser cutting um, indoors, acrylic or, or wood where it you know gives off a lot of kind of, um, smoke is not necessarily the right word, but there's odor and there's stuff in the air, you really wanna make sure that not only is your fan taken care of and cleaned from time to time, but also that you have a really good air filter. And I think that the new um, air filter is doing a really good job. So I will link to all of this in the description below. Um, hopefully now you won't be too nervous about taking this apart. Look, if I can do it and not break a nail, you can definitely do it too. All right guys, everything that you're looking for is in the description below.